Hello guys, welcome back for another video. Let me tell you about me. Take it down in one, two, three. I don't like my boys too sweet. I don't worry about you. I just worry about me. So you better run, run. So today's video is really different. I hardly ever do fitness content, but this is actually very meaningful to me because it's in a very crucial part of my life and in my journey of kind of evolving into the version of myself that I wanna be. But I wanted to be the person for you if you are trying to tap into starting something new, transforming your body, maybe gaining a little bit more mental clarity. You could be going through a really tough time and you wanna do something that's going to help you and guide you and make you feel better. And I wanna be that person for you. So. I am actually partnering with Nike, and specifically I am partnering with Nike Studio NYC to promote their running platform. And I have been running with Nike for six weeks. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys already know this. If you're not, what are you doing? Follow me right now so you guys can always be updated. But I actually really wanted to talk to you. I wanted to have a heart to heart with you. I wanted to talk to you, girl to girl, girl to guy, girl to whomever, I don't care. I wanted to talk to you guys about the transformation that I have you know, seen in my body, my mental health, my emotional health, my physical health, everything. I wanted to go through all that with you guys and hopefully this can inspire somebody if you are trying to start and embark on a new journey. Um, I wanna be that person for you. So if you guys wanna hear all about how I went from, I would say sluggish, uncomfortable, unhappy, overweight, to feeling a lot healthier and more clear and I am more mobile and happier, then this is the video for you. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, hit the bell notifications so you guys will always be notified when I upload. And let's just get into my running journey as an amateur runner, somebody who is the most unathletic person I know, and I'm a an athlete now, you're welcome. All right, let's get into it. Okay, first I wanted to talk about my journey itself and how we got here. So essentially Nike reached out to me and said, we are doing a running program for amateur runners. They do not want to do this program with somebody who is experienced in running already, you know, runs all the time. They want it to be a genuine journey. And I was so down. First of all, it's Nike, hello. I of course wanna work with Nike. Second of all, it's something so foreign to me. I have never ran a day in my life. I am the most unathletic person I know. I struggle very much with initiating any physical activity on my own. I literally have a personal trainer because I don't initiate physical activity. And I thought this was perfect for me because I was going through a breakup. I wanted to transform my body. I was feeling unhealthy, unmotivated, and just very like lethargic. And I have just always wanted to do things that are out of my comfort zone and I've never done it because I am a comfort zone queen. I love to keep myself in that box so that I'm never testing myself. And I decided when I turned 24, I want to try new things. I want to test myself and I want to do things that make me feel uncomfortable because that is how we grow. I wanted to go through, especially for my new runners, just in case you guys are new and you don't know what to get, I'm going to put you guys on to what I've been using. So let's first talk about sneakers. Um, I have shown these a few times on my Instagram. These are the Nike Pegasus. I will put all the links for everything down below because you guys know I can't remember names and all of that stuff. But I wanted to say that this is a very crucial part of your journey. You are going to slip. It is wet outside occasionally. There's rocks. There is dips in the road. You will twist your ankle if you do not have the right sneakers. You will slip if you do not have the right sneakers. I'm telling you, I promise you, there was a day when I went out there wearing the wrong sneakers. I was not happy. This is really important. Um, this is again, for all my amateurs, we don't even know that there is such thing as a correct sneaker. Well, here I am putting you on. Um, I also have these, which are the Nike Reacts. They are also a running sneaker. Now I wanted you guys to see them up close. They are absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with both of them. They fit like a glove. I have a woman's size nine and they just fit really nice. So I wanted to put you guys onto the two sneakers. You wanna make sure that you have the correct sneakers. Like what is going on here? You guys can't run without good sneakers. So there I go. Also, I'm going to link down below every single article of clothing that I wear through my running journey. This is one of them. I'm literally wearing what I wear for my run, including my headband, which we will get into later. But I, especially because it's November, need the 
protection need the long sleeves and it has to be breathable i always put a sports bra underneath and i want my clothing to be breathable but also cozy and i want it to feel good when i'm running there was a day when i went outside and i wore like my regular training leggings to run and my whole butt crack was out so i wanted to at least put you guys on to the correct clothing before we get into like all the pros and cons and everything else i do want to you know note that if you are going to be starting a running journey you do want to have the correct clothing so i will link those down below Okay, let's talk about the pros and the cons. I also wanted to mention before I even talk any further about this video and anything regarding it, that I can and I will do a day in the life of an amateur runner if you guys want, but I wanted to talk about my experience first and give you guys some insight on what I went through in my journey before doing the day in the life because this is more of like a six week checkup, not a checkup, what is it called? A final you know, uh, recap of the past six weeks. Um, this was a very personal journey to me, which I guess kind of sucks that you guys weren't super involved in it, but it was so personal to me and I really wanted to be personal because I wanted to do something new with just myself. But now that I did it, I'm going to talk about it. So let's talk about the pros and the cons. The first pro to literally running is mental clarity. You are going to feel very mentally stable. I know for me, I suffer from anxiety and depression. I have suffered from these things for all of my life and I've always been able to manage them. But let's just be for real. When we are not taking care of our bodies, these things heighten. I know for me, my depression goes up when I am not taking care of my body. It's just how it is. So I want to take care of my body by working out and by moving my body in any way. You could literally go on a hike and that's moving your body. And I'm telling you, your depression will go down significantly with just physical activity. There are literal facts and science-based information that co-signs that. When I started working out and doing, cause I have been, I'm, I'm gonna keep real. I have been training with the trainer and running at the same time. Um, I started training at the same time as I started running, so I can't tell you, oh, I was mentally clear before I started training my trainer. So overall, it's with the combination of both, but I feel very mentally clear. I feel happier. It definitely makes my day feel like it's off to a good start. Granted, I do like to run at night. I know a lot of you guys, when you saw my Instagram post, you guys were very worried about me, which is very sweet. Um, I do like to run at night on the treadmill, and I also like to run at night in my neighborhood. It's a safe area, I'm not worried. Um, but yes, running at night is you know very scary and you should probably bring your pepper spray. Second pro, you feel healthier and happier. I was so unhealthy, don't worry, I'm going to put up pictures. I was not looking like myself at all. Like my body, my skin, my face, my face. Like that is what I find to be the most concerning of everything was my face. And now that I am, you know, on a weight loss journey, I'm nowhere near where I wanna be, but I have lost a significant amount of weight and I feel it in just the way that I move and feel and how I act and how I carry myself. It is all me being somebody who feels a lot lighter. So I definitely feel healthier and that goes for even just my body itself feels healthier. Like I feel less lethargic, I feel less heavy, I feel less um, uncomfortable because let's just be for real, Everyone that is curvy and possibly overweight can vouch for the fact that no matter how beautiful we look, a lot of the times we do feel very uncomfortable. And that was something that I struggled with and I now feel a lot better. Happier? Yes. I am going through a very pivotal, emotional, and very taxing breakup in the sense that I was with somebody for seven years and now I'm not. And right in the time that we broke up, I started this journey, literally right after. So it's been allowing me to have something to think about, think about, think about. When you are going through a breakup, you don't want to have that person on your mind all the time. So when you are providing yourself with distractions, especially when it's healthy distractions, it's like chef's kiss, literally. The third pro is I developed a new hobby, literally. like. I am the queen of no hobby. 
My hobby is my job. I find joy in filming videos, creating content, and I didn't have many other hobbies. I think I developed new hobbies over the past few years, like I like to paint, but I don't do it enough because it's messy, and I like to uh, listen to music. That's not really a hobby, but that's what I like to do. And I even like to dance at night. These are all things that I've tried to develop, but this has become the biggest hobby that I have, which is essentially exercise and running, so. The cons. The cons are important. I am not going to up talk only running and say how great it is because I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. It ain't all that great. The first con is you can get hurt. One thing I had to learn was you can get injured when you don't stretch or even if you just twist your freaking ankle because you went down a tiny little crevice in the road and it made you go oop and you cracked your ankle. Um, I have gotten injured twice and I had to take a four day break both of the times and it's fine. I learned I have to stretch, I have to take better care of my body, I have to just do what needs to be done and that's it, it's fine. And I definitely feel like I should warn you that if you're going to start this journey, you wanna you know, develop a new hobby, you wanna run, just know stretching is important and you might get hurt but you'll be okay. And I would also say run slow and do walk runs. So walk for like however many and then run for however many, whatever you like to do. I like to walk for like 0.25 miles and then run for 0.25 miles. And I would just keep going on and off, on and off, on and off. So that is what I would personally do. Okay, the second con is you feel very inexperienced. This is something that I feel like people rarely ever touch on whatever you're doing something. So like when I started training with my trainer, I remember being like, holy crap, like this is very hard. Like you see girls on TikTok or on social media working out and you're like, oh, if I just pick up the, you know, bench press or if I just start deadlifting, like it's just gonna hurt, but it's gonna be easy. No, your form is bad. You don't know how to do the exercise right. You don't know how many reps and sets to do. Same goes for running. You don't know how long you should be running for. You don't know how fast you should be going. You don't know your form. It's just a very new, weird feeling. So the con is you're going to be inexperienced. You're going to be uncomfortable. You're gonna be doing it wrong. And practice makes perfect, literally. And as long as you just keep doing it and you train your body into honestly like looking at running as a part of your daily routine or weekly routine or however often you wanna incorporate it, that is what's important. And the third con is that you're never gonna really wanna do it. That's at least for me, personally. I didn't ever really get super like, yeah, I wanna run right now. I just did it. And then when I was done, I was happy. So it's not something that like drives me. I don't feel like this intense feeling to go for a run. Um, every time I do it, I feel great. So that's okay. Okay, the fun part. The self-care queen is finally touching on self-care. Let's talk about self-care for running. So first things first, for all my wig wearers and all my girls who care about their edges, headbands are crucial. This is the headband that I got. I love it. I honestly wear it all the time. It secures the wig, you're not sweating the wig off, it's breathable, it looks really cute, and it protects your hair. Whether you wear wigs or you are wearing your natural edges, you definitely wanna protect your hairline when you are running. Let's talk about the actual self-care products that I use that have kept me smelling fresh, looking good, and everything. So something that nobody tells you when you're running is you're gonna be dry and you're gonna be smelly especially if it's winter time. So the first thing that I do for deodorant is the Caring Coconut. I'm literally almost done because I've been using this for the past six weeks of me running. This has been my running deodorant. I don't know, it's just the one I've been using. I like it a lot. Next up, we have a fragrance. I have a very interesting reasoning for picking this fragrance. So I just wanna let you guys know that both the perfumes that I use are very expensive and you don't have to buy them, but I'm just telling you exactly what I use. This is the Creed Virgin Island Water. The reason why I use this perfume is because it reminds me of the beach. And every time I put it on, I say to myself, girl, you are going to be beach ready if you go for this run. That's how I feel. I correlate the fragrance to my beach body. Hello, hi, yes. We need to smell good for our run, but we also want to imagine our rock hard abs and our big ass on the beach. Just saying. And then for my night runs, because I do believe in day scents and night scents, I use the Maison Francis Curjon. I use the Oud Satin Mood. This smells so good. I'm actually wearing it right now. Obsessed with it. It smells so divine. Don't ever spray it as much as I did. Um, you will be walking around smelling so crazy that people will smell you from a mile away. But 
I like it like that. So this has been my night fragrance, love it. And it, I, like I said, I'm a girly girl and I need to make running fun. So to make running fun means self care. Now, it's winter time, let's talk about moisture. Things that nobody talks about, how dry you are, how your lips look after a run, how your hands and feet feel. Girl, <laughs> girl, if y'all saw how ashy and nasty I was looking after a run. So we have my all time favorites. I've had these like Neutrogena hand creams for years and I'm obsessed with them. This is the Norwegian hand cream. It's so Norwegian that it's not even in English. The actual like cream itself is kind of giving very like aquaphor vibes. I love it. It's such a good hand cream and yes, I do need it after a run. It's very important. Now, you can get windburn. Um, a lot of men who run with certain shirts on will literally like their nipples will bleed from running because it's that bad. So I like to really protect my skin. I will actually put this on before a run and it's the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. It helps hydrate parched skin and it relieves minor irritation itching due to eczema and other conditions. This is a holy grail for running, just saying. Just pick it up, I would never steer you wrong. Then as I'm in the shower, I use the Bioderma and this is the anti-irritants um, sensitive skin cleansing oil. You can use this on face and body. I use it for both. I remove my makeup with this. I will clean my body with this. I will do it all and it's giving very like moisturized cleaning vibes. If you suffer from dry skin, this is going to be your girl. And I'm telling you, you're going to be dry regardless if you're an oily chick or a dry chick. You are going to be dry after a run. Like, like this, this weather, <laughs> I'm from Jersey, so it's very humid here. But because it's winter, it's giving chalk, okay? It's giving chalk. So I'm just letting you know, you need to have something that's moisturizing and this will be it. And you can't neglect the lips. The Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips, this is going to get you through a run. I'm telling you right now, you don't need anything else. It's that good. And if you don't have time for a shower, which like, let's try to shower, guys. Let's try to shower, but if you don't, I use the Honey Pot Cleansing Wipes. These are the sensitive wipes. They are for intimate parts, body, and face. You can use it on all three. They're a little thin, but they do the job, and I like the way that they feel when I'm a little sweaty and stinky, just saying. Okay, so essentially the reason why I started this entire running journey was because of Nike Studio NYC, which is an online platform for amateur runners or just for runners in general um, that you can all write your journey. It's kind of like a log where you document what you're going through, how you're feeling, why you maybe didn't run today, why maybe you did. And I wanted to at least plug it for this video because again, it is sponsored by Nike, but I wanted to say that this is an actual thing that you can be a part of. And I find that sense of community is so important when you're starting a new journey like this because you're realizing that you're really not the only one that's going through it and you can talk to people, you can bond with others, you can meet people, become friendly with them online. I will leave the links for Studio NYC um, and Nike down below because it's an amazing forum and you can really just chat with people in your area and talk about your running journey. And that's what I did these past six weeks. I've been writing in the forum and I have been talking about my experience. So I would say go on there and maybe this will inspire you to just wanna be a part of something, especially if you're bored or you wanna like be a part of, you know, some sort of like pact or like fun, like friendship situation, especially with online nowadays, it's nice to have like, online friends and, and, and link with other people who are interested in the same things as you. So this is a great way to do that. And the last thing I wanted to touch on um, was just my own personal journey in this and why I really made this video in the first place. And it's all of the things that I felt throughout this process. And um, this is more of like a heart to heart and less of like, do this, do that. I, I wanted to kind of get into it. So, um, I have struggled with my weight for such a long time and, and I know I've talked about this on this channel before but I really wanted to touch on it because that's essentially what this video is about is my fitness journey and I find that every single time that I start a new fitness journey I say to myself why did I stop? Why did I stop? I feel so much better. I feel so much happier and I feel sexier inside and out because I'm doing something for me and this running journey has really shown me that 
doing things for you is so important. And whether that is, you know, in a relationship or single, it's still important. You do not want to lose yourself. And I did, I lost myself. And I touched on this in my, you know, my vlog from a few weeks ago that I lost myself in my relationship. I lost my body. I lost my confidence. I lost my sexiness. I lost my drive to do certain things. And now that I'm alone, I have honestly had no choice but to put myself first. And I have had no distractions. My distraction is me. So dealing with these issues that I've been struggling with has been so cathartic for me and therapeutic that I want to at least inspire someone if you're feeling overweight, if you're feeling not sexy, if you're feeling like you lost yourself in your relationship, maybe you're still in it. You can go fucking run tomorrow. Like do what you need to do for you. And I'm telling you, you're going to feel like a million times better. And it's going to make you realize like, wow, I can actually take care of myself and be with somebody. Or if you're single, I can take care of myself, work and do everything that I want to do in life. Like there are enough hours in the day for everything. Like there's like the same 24 hours in the day as Beyonce. Just saying like, if she could do it, we can do. Yeah, I wanted to put forth like the self care into my life and and I was ignoring the the self care that re that required physical activity, that required me tapping into that version of myself. I was always talking about products and perfumes and lotions and oils and all of that. I, I've mastered that, but I haven't mastered the art of self care of actually taking care of myself within. This has actually been good for my body in general, my health, my well-being, my mental clarity, my emotional well-being. All of that has definitely been a huge part in this journey and I wanted to put that out there. I also wanted to say that this has been so helpful for my dogs. Um, I was once that girl who took my dogs out to pee and poop and brought them right back in. Thinking about that now, that's like, it's embarrassing. My dogs are both active animals they need to be walked they need to be ran with and i now can keep up with them and do these things with them and it feels really nice so that is something else that i have really been proud of myself for and have acknowledged that they are also benefiting from this journey as well it was also like a personal therapy for me like the mental part of this entire journey was oh like I actually feel mentally better. I'm less depressed. I'm less anxious. I am distracted with healthy distractions. I am embarking on a new hobby. I'm feeling amazing. All of these things were all happening for me and I didn't realize it. I was just doing this because I agreed to do this with Nike and I wanna see where it went, but I had no idea of the mental happiness that I was gonna feel just from doing this. So I, I genuinely am just so blessed and, and happy that I started something so far into me like running. And I will also say that it helps me manage my emotions. I find that I am semi-aggressive. Um, I can, oh, I can, I, I can manage my emotions a little bit better. And I do find that my aggression is toned down through running because I'm able to just like let it out in a run. You know how some people say that they like box to manage their aggression? I feel that same way about running. So that has been super helpful. And the combination of me running and working out with my trainer has really transformed my body and it's transformed my mental health and it's transformed my emotions. And I feel like I'm more, like I'm very nonchalant. Like I'm, do I have my moments? Yes, but overall I'm pretty nonchalant. I'm pretty like go with the flow. And I feel very like sane. I'm not insane anymore, I'm sane. Okay guys, that is all for my Nike Pseudo NYC running journey as an amateur runner. I wanted to touch on everything before I get into like, you know, the vlogs where I show you guys my actual running. I wanted to go through this entire journey with you if you guys wanna start something like this. I wanna thank Nike and Studio NYC for having me a part of this journey. It was definitely a beautiful journey and I loved it and even though I was struggling, throughout the whole thing with personal issues, I find that it really helps guide me in a positive and better direction. So I definitely am grateful for that. And I feel like if you are struggling in, in your personal life, like maybe this video was meant to hit your, you know, your page and you now can realize, okay, even if it's not running, it could be walking, it could be, you know, walk, run, it could be biking, whatever. Hopefully this is going to guide you in the direction where you can actually do things for yourself and put yourself first and try something new 
you and yeah i'm glad to have been that person for you um i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already make sure that you guys join the platform studio nyc and sign up and log in today so you guys can be a part of the forum that i'm a part of and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys